Hi, I'm Susan Waters from Exceeding Joy. Our scripture this week is James 5 verse 11, which says, Indeed, we count them blessed to endure. You have heard the perseverance of Job and seen the end intended by the Lord, that the Lord is very compassionate and merciful. Today, I want to talk about open doors. Deuteronomy 30 verse 19 says, I call heaven and earth as witness today against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both you and your descendants may live. If we don't choose life, we choose death by default. We open the door to the enemy who comes to kill, steal, and destroy. See, God sets before us the two doors of, of life, but the other door is the enemy's door. But he calls us to choose life. That's his desire. In Genesis 4 verse 7 in the Good News Translation, it says, If you have done the right thing, you would be smiling. But because you have done evil, sin is crouching at your door. It wants to rule over you, but you must overcome it. Now, looking at Job in uh, Job 3 verse 25, it says, For the thing I greatly feared has come upon me, and what I dreaded has happened to me. When we allow our circumstances to uh, take hold of our focus, when we allow the, the lie of the enemy, to which, which puts fear in our heart, when we allow that to be the meditation of our mind and our heart, we enter into sin because God says he wants us to believe his word, not the enemy. And that sin opens the door and God wants that door closed. Fear is faith in the enemy's plan. We want to close all doors to the enemy. I have two challenges for you today. The first one, ask God to reveal any open doors in your life. And the second one, deal with any sin that opened the door to the enemy and then pray to close that door. Bless you as you close doors to the enemy. We'll see you tomorrow.